In this lesson, we're going to look at patterning features along a curve. If you plan on following along, open file 6.3.5 and save a copy of it with your initials in front of your file name. Now, to insert a curve-driven pattern, we need to have the Features tab of the Command Manager active, and then select the arrow below Linear Pattern. In the drop-down, we can select Curve-Driven Pattern. The first option that needs to be set in a curve-driven pattern is the pattern direction. When we're selecting the pattern direction, what you need to select is the curve that we're going to pattern along. Now that curve could be a single sketch entity or an edge. But if you want to select the entire sketch, the best thing to do is expand the feature tree and select the sketch from the feature tree. With my sketch selected, I'm now going to collapse the feature tree. The next thing SolidWorks is asking us for is the features to pattern. In the graphics area, zoom in and select the countersunk flathead machine screw. With the machine screw selected, we can see that SolidWorks is equally spacing six instances of that machine screw along the sketch line. Let's change the number of instances to 30. We're going to keep the equal spacing option active and select OK. So we can see that the curve driven pattern is able to create patterns that otherwise could not be created with a linear pattern or a circular pattern. But the curve driven pattern is also a very powerful tool when you want to create a linear pattern with equally spaced features. So let's take a moment to look at the differences between a linear pattern and a curve pattern when creating equally spaced features. The first thing that we're going to do is use a linear pattern to pattern the features on the bottom of the part along this sketch edge. So we'll select linear pattern and for the direction I'm going to select the sketch line. We want to create six instances and I do know that the line is six and a half inches long. So for the spacing I'm going to enter 6.5 divided by 5 because my line is six and a half inches long and with six instances, there's going to be five gaps. So I've entered some math to calculate the spacing between each feature. Now for features to pattern, I can zoom in and select all of the features that make up this boss. Let's save and create the feature. Now on the top side of the part, we're going to do the same thing, but instead use a curve driven pattern. So I'll select the drop down below linear pattern and select curve driven pattern. For the direction, again, I'm going to use the sketch line. Yes, we do want six instances and we're going to use equal spacing. Now let's select the features to pattern. So I'll select all the features that make up the boss. And this time already the features are equally spaced along the line because the curve driven pattern has an equal spacing option. There was no need to enter the length of the line and divide it by the number of gaps. So again, we're already one step ahead. Let's save and create this pattern. Now in both cases, it really was just about the same amount of time being as I did already know the overall length of the line, but we might have lost a little bit of time if we weren't entirely sure how long that line is. However, the real power of using a curve driven pattern comes when we begin making changes to the geometry. So select the top face of our part, and then we're going to change the 8 inches from 8 inches to 10 inches, and we can regenerate the part. When the part regenerates, the pattern on the top has automatically updated and is still equally spaced along that sketch line because the sketch line was parametrically drawn and adjusted with the length of the part. However, if we roll over to the back side of the part, there's no parametric link between the length of the line and the equal spacing of the features. So I trust what you can see from this demonstration is that the curve driven pattern can be a very powerful tool when you want to maintain the parametric advantage 
of having your features equally spaced in a pattern. Well, that concludes this video, and I hope you found it to be a help.